Hi, my name is Abraham Salimon, and this is my leadership interview. Um, so, typically, people tend to think that financial advisors uh, and like wealth managers and whatnot are your average uh, Wolf of Wall Street type of people. Um, that they kind of like cheat and steal, or somehow burn their clients in a sense. Um, but really, financial advisors are. Uh, definitely relationship managers. Um, so they're there to kind of help you um, achieve the needs that you do have um, and also kind of just help the money grow that you do have um, invested within a company. Um, so for my project, I decided to interview my current manager, Dustin Brown. Uh, he works with Edward Jones Investments. Um, he is a certified financial planner and also a certified financial analyst. Those are both very difficult certificates to um, achieve and some even take longer than three years to uh, receive. Um, he's also been out in the field for about 10 years now. Uh, my experience with him started off as an intern. Um, so this past summer I ended up interning uh, at Edward Jones Investments and it kind of just changed my whole perspective um, as far as financial advising goes and wealth management goes. Um, I currently am a branch office manager for Dustin so I'm one of two uh, working for him and it's it, it, the experience itself has just been kind of mind-blowing just because of Dustin's whole leadership role within the office that I work out of. Um, he's very dry and logical. Um, this is how he really brings clients in. There's no um, beating around the bush, I guess, in any of his meetings at all. Um, this is the type of manager that really does succeed. Um, his story is actually very interesting. Um, so when he first started, uh, for about his first three years, he did not really succeed in the industry at all. Uh, within Edward Jones Investments, the only way to build your clientele is by actually going out, door knocking, um, or even doing some sort of cold calling. Um, so he was door knocking for about three years straight until he finally hit some uh, bigger fish is what they call it in the industry and was able to actually receive an office of his own and start building his clientele from there. I thought this was very interesting just because his determination to succeed uh, really just showed me how much of an emerging leader he is. Uh, so he started off and just had this vision and was able to fulfill it after years and years of years of you know blood, sweat, and tears um, out in the Arizona sun um, working just for a certain goal. Uh, he has definitely influenced uh, myself just through my internship and through being a branch office manager like for his office um, in the most positive way. Um, he's almost changed the style of thinking for myself and has really just enhanced my overall view of the market um, and also my communication between the different people that I meet within the office and um, the different types of, I guess, meetings and whatnot also have kind of helped shape my view of Dustin and of the current like economic situations. So I just wanted to end it on the fact that um, financial advisors are really just out there to help. Um, just as just Dustin does, he gets about two to three referrals weekly um, and is very success successful with his clients. Um, even before I started my internship, I thought financial advising was somewhat the whole Wolf of Wall Street thing. Um, but all in all, it has been a great experience with Dustin and I am very lucky to have gotten a chance to interview him and work with him every single day. Thank you for listening.